Hi everybody, it's me Kim Forrester back with another little bite-sized Thrive. How are you doing at the moment? Now of course these little bite-sized videos are there for us all to tap into so that we can learn practices and habits and learn advice and tips and tools that can help us enhance our well-being from the inside out. What do I mean by enhancing our well-being from the inside out? I mean that there are scientifically backed practices and tools and habits and mindsets that can actually nourish our soul, nourish that essence of who we are as a human being. And by nourishing that part of us, by actually taking care of these really subtle yet intrinsic parts of being a human being, by boosting our sense of meaning and joy and, and connectedness, all of these wonderful subtle traits that bubble under the surface, by boosting and enhancing those parts of ourselves, we actually also then boost our mental, emotional and often physical well-being as well. By enhancing our well-being from the inside out, we become more joyful, we become more resilient, we have greater life satisfaction, we become better able to cope with life's inevitable bumps and bruises, and we become more fulfilled in our lives. Is that not what we're all looking for? So the practices that I share with you each week are small and they may seem insignificant, but by nourishing that inner, intimate part of who we are, our soul, our essence, the spark of humanity that sort of burns away inside of us, by nourishing that part of us, we can boost our sense of well-being and boost our clarity around the choices that we are making in our external world and our external life as well. So that's what this is all about. Last week, this week, I'm focusing on connection. Last week, I was focusing on the importance of social connection. It is just such an embedded part of who we are as humans and how we have thrived as a species. Social connection, if you listen to last week's videos, you would realize is so incredibly important for our well-being. It is scientifically proven, right? Today, this week, I'm going to focus on another form of connection that is just vitally important for our well-being and that is connection with nature. Now I'm standing here in my home in Singapore and I thought, do you know what, I'm going to find a nice sort of natural space in my home and hopefully it'll be nice and quiet. Of course it's not. There are cars and there are motorbikes and there are aeroplanes flying overhead here. So, and I think that that is part of the story today because the fact is that we are nature. We are natural beings. We have evolved on and with and for this planet. I know our technology has taken us far away from our natural, for most of us, far away from those sort of natural instincts and ways of being on the land. And I know that our homes are, you know, nothing like what we used to live in, in caves or, or in huts, um, you know, 20,000 years ago. However, the fact remains that we are made of this earth. And we continue to be made of this earth. So we are actually made of the same elements that make up the planet that we live on. We are made of the same elements as the other animals that roam this beautiful planet. The rocks, the mountains, the trees, water and rivers. We all share the same building blocks of biology and building blocks of material that, that make up what we call nature. We are nature. You are nature. As we've become more divorced from our natural beginnings and our natural selves, of course, we have actually started uh, ignoring and suppressing and overlooking some really, really important natural instincts and needs that we have within us, right? We live in these busy cities, noisy cities, far away from, um, from open spaces and quiet spaces and open skies. 
<laughs> now, that's what I want to talk about for the next couple of days because an important thing for us to do, science shows, is to actually reconnect with nature as often as we possibly can. People who live in rural areas or people who live near natural environments tend to enjoy greater physical, emotional, mental well-being. They tend to live longer as well and have greater life satisfaction. Being in and around nature is good for us because we're natural beings. <laughs> so over the coming days, I'm gonna ask you just to reflect on that. Come back to that understanding that sure, our lives may look a little bit structured and built up and you know technologically advanced, but underneath it all, we are still run by, we're still built on these primitive natural instincts. When you eat a delicious apple off a tree, the atoms from that apple get absorbed into your body and the same elements that have made up that apple are now dismantled within your body. And the elements that made up that apple then get drawn into the cells of your body and they become the renewing cells as your old cells are replaced. You are made up of that apple that you ate. And it is true of, of everything that we consume from and of the earth around us. We are inextricably entwined with the natural environment. I want you all, if you want to thrive a little bit more in the coming days, to go and find a natural space and reconnect with natural you. Over the past decade or so, there has been a growing awareness of the way that we treat domesticated animals and farming animals. And I know you, you will all understand this, that there's a greater call for animals um, on farms to be given an opportunity to actually express themselves as animals, to have fresh air and open space, and to have an ability to express their natural instincts and desires. So I want you, and I'll do the same for me over the coming days to do the same for yourself. Become more free range in moments in your life over the coming days. Seek out those natural environments, the natural instincts that help you naturally thrive. Go into a park, a beach, a mountaintop. If you don't have a lot of nature around you, simply sit under a tree, hug a tree. Just connect with nature in whatever way you can. And when you're doing so, understand it's not you versus nature. It's not you next to nature. It's not you looking at nature. It is you in amongst and embedded within nature. I'll be back later on this week, probably in an equally, equally noisy and busy situation, but I'll be back with another little bite-sized thrive to talk about the importance of reconnecting with our natural selves. Until then, take good care of yourself. Remember, we're turning 2021 into something 2020 wonderful. One small habit and practice at a time. See you next time. Bye.